there's a UK TV quiz show called University Challenge in which teams from two different UK universities are fighting against each other to answer general knowledge questions. And it's a really popular show and it's the ambition of a lot of undergraduates to be on University Challenge team. When I was a student, applied to be in my college's team and I wasn't good enough and I was really disappointed. So I recently watched the opening credits and I was really pleased to see a periodic table. But then if I, when I looked carefully, I was really disappointed because their table is wrong. It's not the most current one. The important new super heavy elements that all have their own names. Look, here on my tie, we've got Hassium, Meitnerium, Darmstadtium, Röntgenium. These all have names which have real significance. Scientists have struggled for years to create these. And on the periodic table on their credits, they're just numbers. Now, of course, they could argue this is a historic periodic table, but it's not. It's 10 to 15 years out of date, so it's not old enough to be historic. My car's 11 years old, and it isn't historic yet. It's just a bit old, and their periodic table is the same. So I think it's time for an update. They should have something that's new and exciting and up to date. I think that the periodic table doesn't change all that frequently, though there have been quite a few changes in the three years that we've had periodic videos going. I don't think it's very difficult for people to update their credits. After all, most programs update their credits every two or three years anyway. I'm usually okay in the chemistry questions. I'm hopeless with sport or music, pop music and so I'm not really a very good team member because for one of those teams you want somebody who's a good chemist but also knows all the names of the operas, knows all the football teams and everything else, a good all-rounder and I don't know any of that.